Really doesn't feel like they've got a, a decent, a decent kind of counter pick here towards the Lycan. You have some great, great push with the Zeus, but now with the Tide, I'd say it's much better off. A very good way of kind of just holding towers here with the Tide Hunter. Not able to really get the double decays. You've got to focus on one or the other. They are focusing on Irving. Level one Tide's not the tankiest here. Gemstones there as well. That'll slow Irving down quite nicely. And Irving, Fairy Fire is there. He'll try to survive, but in the end, they'll have the damage. In fact, QIQX. Also getting caught out by the zombies is going to drop a double kill out for Summer. You couldn't have asked for a better start if you are the pause one of YBB. Iron Will, the crown up now, level two Feral Impulse. It feels like you've missed that window. Just chancing on the time lock is not very reliable. And that should give some room for SJ to actually start going towards mid as well to kind of fortify ZC's position. Maybe look for the six minute rune here as well. Although, Top nice, lane. nice Thunder Gods. It was a nice Thunder God's Wrath. Some are still going to be able to pick up the Dazzle kill, and this Tide is still struggling to get out, but Irving eventually is going to be able to walk away. Problem is, mid lane, ZC, able to find a kill here against Dust. And Dust just getting dived on the Zeus. ZC kind of... Just giving ZC. YBB this time to get their build up. He's going to be all right, ZC. <laughs> the haste rune allowing him to just kind of run out of range of dust so he can't follow up with the lightning bolt into the arc lightning bottom lane mercy gonna try and move in onto sj there's the wolf form beyond he does pop it he should at least find a trade for himself and does do so in fact now the chase is on for irving he's got the helm of the dominator up so the bonus damage is there but irving hides forced to show up but you're trying to shift out by year up top to kind of just find some farm. You've got a lot of heroes down mid here. Yeah, you do. The Undying right behind the tree line there is going to get caught out, but here comes ZC to try and help out. They'll find maybe a bit of a trade-off against the Dazzle. The Thunder God's Wrath is going to fly in and at least secure the Undying kill. But here we go on to SJ. They might just have another. A nice pushback out from SJ, but it won't matter in the end. They do secure a secondary kill here for the side of Team Magma. It'll be happy days for them. Yep. And they they find a support trade in the end, although they are starting to find a little bit more from those pickoffs. And I like the way Magma's clumping up. They've got this Chrono to play with. Oh, nice Chrono. Very nice Chrono out from the Void, catching the Batrider. That'll be ZC and the Undying to drop. They will both go down, no problem. Really nice Chrono out from our Void. They just line up, they, they play around these parts of the jungle, keeping the range shoved out. And YBB aren't punishing. And then they're just they're just allowing this farm war, which maybe they're more confident than the troll, but they've got a lot of concerns about catching by Yi later on. Like they they have to find a way to stop that way to stop the ravage. Well, they are gonna find Tian Ming. It does go for uh, some D wards outside of the Roshan pit and gets his own observer ward down as well. It's like YBB already kind of afraid Magma will, look, will be looking towards that Roshan very soon, and I'm sure they will. And they go for the T1 mid tower. ZC, that's a very aggressive TP in. Oh, he's already gone. I thought he was going to cancel. SJ, he's also been caught out as well. He doesn't cancel the TP. Yeah, and he gets extremely punished for it. And oh, down and now that Chrono catching out to ZC. He just got back into the game. He will survive through it anyway, though. He's fine for now. It's a snowball. We'll chase down Beyond on the Lycan, but won't connect. Do they have shards? They do, but they won't throw it out yet. Irving, he still has Ravage up as well. They'll find Tianming first on the Undying. They will lose QIQX on the Dazzle. Beyond. He'll try for a TP out. In goes the time walk, but they will not find the line. Channel the sharpshooter all the way. He was trying to feed the kill to Summer. So he, he didn't go for the max damage on the sharpshooter. And that ends up costing them the kill. I, I guess at this stage of the game, considering the state the game's in, John, you can't really... In fact, hold that thought, because Dust bot lane is going to go down, so they find something. But my point is, considering the state of the game, you, you can't really afford to decide who gets the kill. Yeah, look, it's still ideal. You try to hand it to Troll, I think it just felt like a very guaranteed thing. Although... Well, fine, SJ. At least you found the mid Zeus, right? Like, it's still a very good trade for YBB. Net worth only down to 1k advantage now for Magma. 
uh, Zeus's Jupiter in Roman mythology. I, you know what? I don't quote me on that. I don't think so anymore. Uh, it doesn't matter anyway. Just rush out going on. Team Magma. Taking it down rather fast. They are going to send the ancient dominated creep over. Meanwhile, already losing SJ on the hoodwink thanks to this task as they do jump in onto Beyond. He'll make a run with the wolf form. Meanwhile, Summer from the backside trying to go onto Irving, but he's dropped a half HP already. Jump in again. Horus punches there, and now oh. the Ravage coming out, Irving. It's a perfect initiation. Still, they found the void, but the Shallow Grape is there. Time walk away as well. He's full HP once again. He can keep turning this team fight. Summer, he's still trying, but what can he get done? Shards will lock him down. Warus punches out. Summer is surely just dead on the Troll Warlord, and he will go. I have seen the that is a perfect initiation from Irving. Yeah, that, that sucks. I think it, it gets really busted if you do manage to farm with the Ags. That AoE stun definitely guarantees your safety. Onto the high ground, they slowly poke and prod. SJ. Slowed up by that time dilation, but he's going to be just fine. He just jumps in constantly. Is now the Walrus Punch. Is there Mercy? Just getting the snipe from a mile away. In goes the Bat Rider. But he gets caught out by the Chrono. No chance for ZC to catch anyone. They still have Ravage as well, if they need it. And guess what, John? They don't. In fact, maybe they do now. Root is there on Irving. Warus Punch out through the BKB onto Summer. Summer trying to fight back, but is only attacking Illusions right now. The Battle Trance is going to wear off. They don't even need the Ravage yet, but there it is. Flying out onto two targets. They found SJ once again. That'll be a dieback, and that should be GG to be cool. Team Magma, they are way too far ahead in this game, number one. They'll go for it. They're going to force the fight anyway. No Ravage up, no Chrono up. They need five seconds for that Chrono, though. It could be pretty poor timing. ZC, he'll jump in. There's your Lasso out. They've caught the Tusk, but there's your Chrono. They've found two of them straight off the bat onto the Bat Rider. Look at that stun out from Irving. Catching out three with the mini Ravage. Summer, he's still trying to man fight this one up. The Snowball is there. Wasting the BKB of the Troll Warlord. Now they can jump right back in. Irving's got the Ravage back up. It's not looking good for YBB. Summer getting trapped up by the shards of the Tusk once again as he does pop the battle trance, but it just doesn't matter. None of it matters here for YBB. They call it. They have had enough. And Team Magma, I don't want to say it was a convincing game one victory, but it sure seemed like it after that halfway mark. A lot slower as well in the tide. He was farming that jungle quite a fair bit. He's got to give that room out to the Lina, and they do close out with the SF here on YBB. So it's a Shadow Fiend versus the Lina lane. Can go really either way, as they are going to try and make the plays now onto Tian Ming top lane. Static Link, though, was on cooldown. So the damage is just not going to be there to follow up. But Tian Ming doing the math. Very good at counting here, though maybe not good enough. He does get rebounded on. Stun was there. He'll try it for the Fisher. He might find a trade, but in the end, they are going to find First Blood the way of dust. Another First Blood handed over to the Pos 1 of Team Magma. Beyond. Having a much better laning stage now. Still behind in CS, but is able to catch up quite comfortably, though I say that. They are going to make the jump in once again. Siphons are out to try and fight dust. With the, uh, with the hills back, but Beyond, he needs to back out. In goes Tian Ming with a very nice fish, but the Dispose is there. Backing onto Beyond. Very fire up. It's not going to be enough for the Marcy, but they'll find Beyond on the Death Prophet. And that's all that matters is Tian Ming not out of danger yet either. Dust is going to get himself a double kill on the Razor. He's having a very good time now on that safe plane. Shackles are out. SJ going to be fine. A very nice fish from Tian Ming. He's fighting over that six minute power room timing, but it is going to be up top. With the rebound, they'll have plenty of movement speed here for the lean on. He'll be able to go ahead and pick up the haste. Top lane, however, Dust in big trouble, but Beyond getting rather low himself is going to find a very nice kill. It will cost him his own life in the end, but it's definitely well worth it. Yeah, it's a bigger kill for Beyond to find. Come Summer as well, the farm's already gone, but Irving, he's gonna tank through the damage that Summer pumps out. Question is, can he tank through all of it? He has double Bracer, so he is a very, very, very tanky boy. But ultimately, surely they have the damage. Irving, still running, will try to juke out in the tree line, and in come the TPs. Summer will be able to take the kill, but in comes Dustin, in comes Mercy. They'll cancel the TP off, and that is not gonna be a good trade whatsoever for YBB.
You don't want to give away your pos one for a position three like that. And you saw how long it took them to find the tide. Trough. Gonna need to work onto his damage right next. But that clump up is here. Four heroes onto the mid. Ward's ready. Ravage ready for any sort of team fight. Shouldn't take them too long to melt this. Ward's down. Mid tier one tower is so important. Nice rebound, but a Fisher is gonna block in QIQX and the dispose is never out. Jan Ming saving the day. Had that dispose landed. Especially if the Fisher still went, ZC probably would have just been dead. Nevertheless, Magma still going in, do find the T1 mid tower and Irving. He'll rush forward. A big Ravage is going to take up to three targets. In fact, make that four as they found ZC down. Summer, at least finding dust on the Razor. Though has he? He doesn't have the follow-up damage. The slow was there and Summer's gone. Echo Ooh. Slam has been committed by Qian Ming. They're still trying. They at least found the Lina. Maybe they can clean up with Beyond on the Death Prophet. And it seems like they just made. As Irving does drop. A triple kill for the DP and beyond. Might even be able to get a bit of chip damage off onto this mid tier one tower of Magma. And does do so onto beyond. Still making his way out. There's the rebound. Give the movement speed bonus. They have found dust on the razor, but the hex is there. Mercy. He'll drop the serpent wards. The shaman somehow surviving. ZC, your BKB TP out and just barely makes it out as the Ravage Ooh. does fly through. Connects on two of them. They'll find both supports of YBP. And somehow, Mercy does not die. He is barely going to make it. But neither does the side of YBB, and that's the blink reveal out now for Chan Ming. So now they're very aware that the Shaker is going to be a problem and just kind of adjust accordingly in these fights. Oh, Summer, Summer, this is not the position to be in right now. No sentry wards around to detect this either. He is going to get perma stunned up and taken down. Great set up already. Still, they are going to try and trade at least with QI, QX, and they do. It's just a lot of commitment for this kind of kill. Maybe if they can find the Lena, it'll be well worth it. Where's the detection? He's just fine. Echo Slam committed. They'll at least find Mercy on the Shaman. That'll be a second. YBB. Not too bad of a trade for themselves, giving away the CK for two supports. And they need to rush this. Do I say that? Why, BB? They are going to five-man smoke up. It might just be a little bit challenging because you are playing into the high ground of Magma. Though Dust does make it to the low ground now. It could be an opening. They'll see the Razor. It's a great target. In goes the jump. No BKB there. No Ravage to follow up. So Dust is gone. A very awkward time to show on the mid creep wave. And he will get punished immediately. Even worse news, there's no buyback available for that Razor. Oh, they found the leader oh. now! Ravage is out! It's gonna connect on everyone, but it won't matter. They found the leader. They'll even lose QYQX. Really disastrous team fight for Magma. Just small mistakes like that, it's gonna cost them so much. Out of tower that they can play for as well on the side of YBB. He's down the bot lane, not too big of a deal anyway, is Magma. Five man smoke up, through the mid lane they go. Already on the Radiant side, who can they find first? They'll try to get into that Radiant Triangle. Irving, he can blink in. No, instead, it's by the mid-tier 2 tower. They found Tian Ming, but Summer, he'll get in there with the BKB on the CK. Trying to fight back as Mercy is going to drop. In fact, they even found the Marcy, but they are going to lose Summer. So the CK's down. Beyond and ZC. They'll keep the fight going, and now the Ravage oh. going to come out, Irving. Perfect timing. Has found two of them. Beyond somehow running is barely going to make it out. In fact, now the Lena. Oh, the Lena's going to drop. They do not win out the team fight. Even with the Ravage, they just didn't. So, the side's going to try and farm a few, a few more of those up while they can. So there is going to be a smoke from YBB. Into the die jungle they go. YBB frontlining with Beyond. Are going to find Dust Mercy is there. He's got the Shaman. Ooh. Or rather the, uh, the Hex sound. The Ravage was there as well. But they're going to blow off the time. In fact, Aeon just is out. Irving still alive. But he's going to drop the Summer. Mercy also going to drop. But in they go after the CK. Dispose is out. They do at least find Summer down. But Magma, they've got to back off. This is not the team fight they wanted. The lean is going to get caught. Perfect Fisher from Tian Ming. Finding even more as they found Dust. It's only QIQX who will survive through this as the Marcy. And that'll be free Roshan. First, if need be, or just find some objectives. Fortify already gone. 
Creep Wave not going to last too long, but you are in a very tough spot now for Magma. Like, even with these respawns coming up soon, without the Ravage, your control is kind of not there. Well, Max are there. Jian Ming, he'll be the first target, but immediately Mercy is gone. This is not the initiation. They don't even oh. have the Titan now. The Echo Slam. That'll be a tie back on the Lena. This game, it's looking very over now. I mean, maybe you go back for Roshan anyway if you're YBB, but you don't really need to. You could find YBB for now or fine. ZC's going to be spotted, but he's got the Aegis up. He's not really the target you want to go on here, but they're going to try anyway. Ravage is out. It connects on three. They'll find the SF for the first life. Perhaps they are trying to burst him down, and they will. It goes beyond, though, with the Aeon disc and the BKB out. He will try and help out, but the SF oh. now has been caught. Is going to go down. CC. He'll buy back into the team fight, but now Summer's in trouble with the big Echo Slam from Tian Ming. Gonna take down Mercy. Now a fish around. Magma still going, however. We'll find SJ. They'll force another buyback on the snap fire. Two buybacks being committed. They are on the chase for the leader, but they'll lose beyond. Another kill to go the way of Magma. And this strategy of fighting from the tree line, it does work out. Mind you, it's on cooldown anyway, so it doesn't really matter. YBB, they'll hang around the mid lane, hoping somebody shows up. Mercy will do so. Summer, he'll move forward. That's a great Fisher. It's caught two already, but Mercy, he's got the A on disc for now. So deserving. They'll make their way out as Dust has moved his way in, but he's copping too much damage. He will drop, but there is a buyback up and available. Rebound away from QIQX. They try to chase down the leaner instead, but there's your Ravage out. Irving, he's only caught one with that. ZZ had the BKB in time. Instead, it's on to Beyond. Trying for the death from with the Aeon Disc. He's going to protect us now. The leaner has oh, been caught God. out. Summer, he's got him. Ravage is there, but they haven't got the damage output. They're still going to try with QIQX, but he's only a Marcy. Dust trying to run on the Razor. This game, it's going to be over. YBB, they should have been able to force this to a game three, and they will. GG is called. A nice attempt from Magma, but it just doesn't prove to be enough in the end as YBB. And I gotta admit, John, I doubted the draft of YBB quite a bit, but this, this can hold its ground, it can run out of arena fairly nicely here. And Jeez. way higher beyond. and shield crash, so Dust gets to manage it a little bit better. Bottom lane, beyond. He's really not enjoying this poison touch here as the sun is gonna fly out in first blood. Already gonna go the way of the arc here for Magma. Jian Ming really couldn't do anything to help out on the Dawnbreaker, and it just goes back to the backup. Managed to catch out and punish, getting themselves an additional gear, kill here in YPB, and starting to impact the Alex's farm because he's focused in on trying to kill. They'll try again though. Summer in trouble now with the shards and tag team activated. He's still trying to fight back. Meanwhile, bot lane, they do find the Dawnbreaker. But top lane, Summer is going to drop with the Life Stealer. They had a great shards tag team combo, and it just seemed like Summer wanted to try and fight through. ZC going to try his absolute best to defend here with the swashbuckle. Has the rolling thunder. Sad part is, though, the DP finds a regen rune. So, all that work goes to nut, goes to waste, really. So fast. He's a bit aggressive still down by. QIQX will drop. There's your sidekick out as well. So now Tian Ming can heal up as the arc is still trying, but the dispose is there. Beyond able to secure the kill. Tian Ming, he knows he's dead. He'll just stand there and take it for the team as dust. Well, he's still going to try and have a look around for Beyond, but is going to miss out. So if he will reveal themselves in the mid lane, at least the supports do, and nothing's going to come out of it. Just trying to secure that 8 minute power room timing. Dust could be in danger. ZZ does move in. A nice bushwhack and now the rebound is out. Beyond setting up as Dust. He'll try to heal up with the stick charges. But there's going to be 4 heroes around. They'll even find Mercy on the Tusk. And that'll be a 2 for naught trade the way of YBB. He does heal through all the damage being pumped out. Beyond has already committed the Unleash, so he doesn't have that available. Now the turnaround is there, but the best is out. Summer, he'll just keep going. This Alk still trying to run. ZC, he's on the chase. He has the shield crash in just a moment. He'll land another slow. There's another rebound. They will not give up, and it does pay off. Oh, YBB, they would just not leave this poor man alone. Amazing. Radiance Middle Tower is under they just keep chasing them down. They understand what they have to do against the Alk here on YBB Zen. Just constantly apply pressure, and sure it doesn't find farm QYQX spotted by the courier. He just wanted to survive. The courier sees him. Tian Ming even sticking around for a Starbreaker swipe at him. 
Beyond will be able to take another so more. So much damage output as well with the swashbuckle. For now, though, it's all about farming for him. Magma, on the other hand, they are going to go for a three-man smoker. Mercy, Dust, and Irving going to move in. They will find the Pango. Rolling Thunder not going to be there in time. The arena is going to be dropped. They'll find one. Tian Ming, he tried to come in and help out, so it might be a two-for-one special here for Magma. They do end up getting a very nice shards out, and eventually Tian Ming will drop. And with that jump, T1 mid tower, it is open. Yeah, they've got the Exo running. So that's the real target they wanted. They don't really care for that top T1. Magma now will go for a smoke, but they might run right into SJ. Smoke broken already. Mercy, he's going to move in, but here comes the cavalry. Solar Guardian is there on dust. He's still fine with his own BKB, and now an arena. Going to catch two of them. Irving, a perfect setup. They've already found one. Even Mercy surviving thanks to the shallow grave of QIQX. And Magma, they'll find a double kill onto dust. And abuse the double damage timing with it. Like it, it seems pretty strong for them. You could try to force the T1 mid tower push now if you're YBB, but it does feel very forced. Yan Ming still going to try and make the play onto the Dazzle, though QIQX will be able to land the Shallow Grave, at least for now, but eventually will drop anyway. They're unable to save. Instead, Irving is going to move in onto Tian Ming. They'll find the Dawnbreaker, perhaps, though he will go for a bit of a run with the Celestial Hammer, but won't make it to the low ground. That'll be a one-for-one -one trade. Does feel like it's in the favor of Magma. With that, that initiation that should have came out there from Irving. Very nice bash from the Pango, just making sure the Mars could not move forward. Still going to be a four-man smoke, Magma. They're going to try, but there's a three-man counter smoke happening, and they'll run right into each other. Mercy, they'll make the jump in. A nice arena, already catching up the Pango, but can they protect him? It doesn't seem like it's EC. He's still going, but not for long. He does drop. Magma, however, they're still being chased down. Beyond does so much damage on this Marcy. And now Roshan, it's going to be open for YBB. Suddenly, never mind, no fight to break out, sadly. Scan is there on Irving. Yeah, they spot him out. They know there's someone farming that top area. They don't have vision there on the side of YBB. Going in now. Mercy again, it's going to be targeted straight up, straight up and just get taken down. Sharpshooter more than enough as even ZXZY, rather QXQY, or rather QYQX is what I meant to say, John, does end up going down mid lane. Radiant's middle Too many letters in these names. They do go to the high ground now of the mid lane. In fact, never mind. They'll go up top, Summer and Beyond. Sounds like a, a store name, Summer and Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there, there is Bed Bath and Beyond. Oh, we're not you know, giving so. free shout outs, Jonathan. I know which one it is. Spear is there, Irving. He's gonna set up. Dispose out, though. Nice stun, however, with the unstable concoction, but Beyond, he just keeps going. Summer, he'll man up. Arena down. They'll try to protect Summer. He's gonna get out of there. Beyond's already done as well. ZC, still alive somehow, but the chase is going. They want that life stealer. They might just have him as well, and they do. Down without buyback. SJ being chased as well. There goes Tian Ming. SJ gonna try to run, but the stun is there. Four down for the side of YBB. And suddenly Magma. They are showing signs. Doesn't know that there's no buyback available. He was only 85 gold short of that buyback being up. So 20 seconds away from respawning. You'd love to have that Solar Guardian throughout this team fight, but they're going to jump in early. Mercy is there with the Walrus Punch. A Bushwhacker holds him down. Sama, he'll get to work with the Snowball. He's going to delay a little bit as QIQX is going to drop to the Shield Crash. Mercy still running, but does get taken down by the Swashbuckle. In they go into the Alchemist. The Unleash is there. The Marcy's trying, but does end up dying as now the Solar Guardian is committed by Tian Ming. He has respawned up. Onto Irving they go, but he's going to BKB available on that Mars. So he'll keep the fight going. And now the turnaround is here, Dust. He pops the shivers. In fact, never mind the turnaround. The sharpshooter will connect onto the DP, and Dust is gone as well. Irving, he'll keep trying to get out, but the bushwhack, it's going to lock him down. Irving's gone. Eventually, they'll get him. And now Roshan is available to the side of YBB. And would you believe it, John? Ah. There's a double damage rune to back up. That's 15 seconds away here for, for ZC. To Summer. 
try to abuse the rage. Spear, not going to be there from Irving. He goes right through the life sealer. It's the bushwhack. Going to lock down the Mars. They even have the break for the Shallow Grave. Going to buy a bit of time. It's beyond. A double stun out. They found Mercy. There goes your Mars. They're trying with the Alchemist to try and fight back. But this life sealer, he's way too tanky. Just takes down the Alchemist. No problem. ZC. He'll find QYQX once again on the Dazzle. There are no buybacks available on the Mars or the Elk. That position, like, they were already winning, winning before that, so. That's not a word, John. Let's see. Um, we'll find out if they can kind of get this approach shot out on Toss. Toss, he gets done straight away. Look at the damage. Oh, Beyond is just shredding him. Yikes, Toss cannot handle it. He is gone. Under the task, there's no, more. No, no, Beyond. No. One, two, one, two, one, two. He'll find another. Irving. He'll get bashed up with the BKB just trying to force a fight. YBB. He'll back off. That's a great arena. That's a great double spear out for the Solar Guardian. It's going to protect them. There's no follow up. Magma. This game. It's looking over. They're still in it though. They're still trying. Where's the task? He has no buyback. At least they find Tian Ming on that Dawnbreaker. They'll try one last time. Irving. He's back in as well. Summer, his BKB wearing off, but he's onto the Alchemist now with the Bushwhack to hold him down. The Alk surely can't survive. There's a Shallow Grave from QY to QX, trying to buy a bit more time, but it's not going to be enough. He is gone. Tier 4 Towers. Off we go. You needed the Tusk with the kickback. He dies without buyback. He's up in three seconds. There's Dust again being caught out. Shallow Grave will buy a bit of time. Here's the Fountain kickback onto that life steal. They found a good target, but Summer, he's too tanky. The Fountain's not going to do enough. Mercy, he will drop once again, and that's GG. Magma, they'll have to go home. Or rather stay home here in the lower bracket.